Hello everybody, my name is Justin, thank you for joining me. Today we have a very special guest on the show, a familiar face, Hot Tent 2.0. And what I'd like to do today is show you guys exactly how I built it. So, let's do that. Guys, I've got some grommets, some flex seal tape, Gorilla tape and a 16 foot by 20 foot tarp. Let's build a tent. The heavy duty tarp costs $54.98. The heavy duty roll of Gorilla tape costs $8.98. The flex tape was $12.99. And the grommets were $4.49. Currently that brings the total up to $81.44. I already have a grommet kit. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna have to get one. The kit comes with these three pieces and grommets. Anyway, I already have one, so I'm not including this in the cost of this kit. So now what I'm gonna do is lay out that tarp on the ground and stake all the corners and get it nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do is find the center point the long way and run a line right down the middle. At that center point is where we're going to start swinging the arch. This right here is that center point so I'm going to take a, a rope and run it all the way across. This center point right here gives us the center for the swing of our arch. I'm going to take this string and run it all the way to the back corner. And I'm going to make a mark. And just to be sure, I'm going to check it on this side. The purpose of swinging this radius is to find the next point for our next radius. So where this string and that string intersect is our next point. Now I'm going to mark it. And this is our new center point to swing our next radius. Now I'm going to take this spike and drive it right through the tarp. Okay, now we have our new center point for our new arch. This is where we swing the next radius from. With this radius, it's very important that you use the same measurement that you used to swing the first radius. Those measurements have to be the same in order for this to work out right. So I'm taking the same rope with the same mark and I'm gonna swing the new radius from this different point. It's also worth noting that I'm not swinging it from that side. I'm reversing it and swinging from this side. So we take this point and find out where it touches this side of the tarp. Which would be right here. I have this measurement tied off and I'm going to do my best to go around with a sharpie and mark this out. That was perfectly met at the center. Awesome. Okay, now that that's all marked out, I'm going to take my trusty utility knife and start making some cuts. That worked out just about perfectly. That's the center. Look at that. Drawing out a line helps so much. Uh, 
All right, guys, there's the outer shape of it. Now I'm gonna go restake it down and cut out the door hole. I'm gonna bring it right down to the bottom of where we started pulling this radius. And I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And the opening that this creates will eventually be our door. on the other side. We now have our rough shape. Look at that. Don't throw this away. This is not junk. You're going to need this later. Now what I'm going to do is go around the whole perimeter of the bottom of the tent with this Gorilla Tape. That will prevent the tarp from pulling apart and fraying at the bottom where I cut it. And it will also reinforce the tarp where I put in the grommets. Now it's time to install some grommets. I'm going to put the first grommet in at the bottom of the tent at the base of the door. And then I'm going to work my way all the way around putting grommets in every four feet. But before I do that, I have to reinforce this spot with another piece of Gorilla Tape. Everywhere I put a grommet, I'm going to wrap around another piece of tape. the intersection of the cuts that I made for the doors right here is basically going to be the top of the tent. So what I'm going to do is on the inside of the tent I'm going to take some Gorilla Tape and reinforce this area so that the pole doesn't poke any holes through it.
point where I've got to pitch the tent. I gotta lay it out, stake it out, pitch it, find out how big of a pole I need, mark out my guy lines, mark out where I want my stove pipe jack to go, figure out how I wanna get my door installed. So at this point, I'm just gonna try and get it pitched, make all those marks and measurements, and move forward. Right on, let's do this. It's very important that both ends of your door are at the same spot. Now from here I'm going to go around the whole thing, stake it down. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I have this old pole from an old tent that I had that I no longer have and the pack rat gear junkie in me just could not throw these away. Let's see how this works out. Guys, that's not so bad for a first pitch. Wow. The poles in there, is, it's a little bent, but I'm gonna go take some measurements and we'll figure all that out. It's seven feet, three inches tall, and about 14 feet wide. A lot of room. This is where you really want to check and make sure that everything's the way you want it before you go around and start making all those fine-tuned adjustments. I've got a seven foot, three inch pole in there. What I'm going to do now is take some Gorilla Tape and go around the top of it to make a sleeve for that pole to fit in and that also really tightens up the walls of the tent. So that's next, let's get to it. Now at this point, I don't want to do too much because there's still a bunch of work to do right here but I'm just trying to make that sleeve the stove jack that I'm going to use for this build is from my Lux hiking gear tent they made these so that they're removable and I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm not going to include this in the cost of the build. Lux sells this very stove jack on their website for like $45 I think. Other companies make them or you can go on Amazon and there's a bunch of options there. This is the stove jack that I used for my smaller hot tent. I got this on Amazon. I think it costs $25. I'm not quite sure, I don't remember, it was a few years ago. Once we have the stove jack, we can start making cuts for that, so let's get to it. Alright, I'm just going to put a little, bit, little piece of tape right here. Because that's where I want my guy line. As you've probably noticed, these pieces just come together. Weather, water, snow, wind, it could all blow right in. So I'm going to take this piece right here, which is my drop from this cut. Don't throw this away. You're going to need this later. And I'm going to make it so that it overlaps. I'm just temporarily tacking it in place. Once it's pitched, take out this one stake right here, and you've got yourself a door. A good one.
There it is, for the most part, I have to finish taping it up. I have to use the flex seal tape for the guy out points and cut the hole for the stove jack. Install some Velcro tape. Bam, on our way. Pretty exciting. My tent. This right here is the extra material on the inside of the door. But this grommet right here is very important because when you set the tent up, you want this one and the other one touching in the same spot to make a complete circle. So I'm going to leave this and reinforce it. I'm gonna make a cut like so. And then I'm going to cut all this excess material off. Tape it all together on the back side. Okie dokie, guys, the door is done. I might reinforce it a little bit later, but I'm calling it good for now. Now it's time to move on to the guy outlines. Using this piece of tape as a reference, I'm going to place this right there. I'm going to be very careful to make sure that this is pointing towards the top of the tent. And I'm going to take the backing off of my flex seal tape, being very careful not to let these touch each other, because once they grab each other, you're never getting them undone. Right in the middle, fold it on over. Then I'm going to put a grommet in it. When this guy outline is pulled, it's going to pull on the top of the tape, which will allow the tape eventually to pull off. So what I'm going to do is cut down along here and then reinforce the top with another layer of tape. And that extra piece of tape will take the tension of the guy line and help it disperse it throughout more of the tent instead of on this one little point.
So this is it guys, the finished product. The last thing I had to do was put in this little rain flap right here. I still have a little bit of tinkering to do, some adjusting and some more taping and reinforcing with tape and stuff, but this is pretty much it. I did buy another roll of duct tape because I'm not done taping up the tent and reinforcing it. I'm going to put a little bit more time and care into that. That was $8.98 and that brings the total of this tent up to $113.76. That's pretty awesome. I'm very happy with that. If you were going to buy a budget hot tent, it'd cost you $100 anyway, give or take. And they're usually about five feet tall. You know, they're way smaller than this. So, I mean, I'm not trying to compare the two. It's definitely apples to oranges. But for $113, I'm extremely happy with this tent. Beyond happy. It's huge, it's just what I wanted, and it was cheap. I'll probably buy some more Flex Seal tape and make some more guy out points. There's only three guy out points on this whole tent and the thing is huge so I'd probably like to get about three more on it. That would be good. I'm going to throw a bunch more money at research and development into this thing because it's extremely high tech. Make sure we get it right and onward to more adventures. It's just a matter of more adventures. More time, more adventure. It's a great car camping tent, a campground tent. You know, maybe if you're only hiking in a mile or two, you wouldn't mind hauling something like this in a sled. So I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And yeah, here it is. I'm not 100% satisfied with how the video came out. I did the best I could, and I think it came out all right, but I still think it's a little vague in spots and I could have done better. But it is what it is, and I'm rolling with it. So if you guys do feel a little bit unfulfilled or feel like this was kind of vague, go check out Far North Bushcraft. Lonnie built a tent like this a few years ago, but he does a really, really good job of explaining the process and breaking it down. I mean, he even does a little model and everything to show you exactly how he did it. So he's very clear about it. His process is worth checking out. So go check him out if you're left a little confused by my video. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. It's good in the woods. Talk to you later.